these demons possessing people, all of this garbage, this sickness, uh, the woman bent over, all of this stuff uh, is put on you by Satan, uh, and you're in bondage to Satan. Uh, but I come, he said, uh, in the volume of the book, uh, I come preaching the kingdom of God, uh, saying it is in hand, and showing you that it was by healing the sick, raising the dead, cleansing the lepers. Death had no hope. He said, you go and do the same thing. He said in James, is any sick among you? Let him call for the elders of the church. Oh my God, I've known him with all. And the Lord will raise him up. People, we've got to believe what he says. We've got to raise our faith. We've got to come back. We've got to contend with the faith that was once delivered. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to try to close. There's a lot of scriptures. There's so many scriptures where Jesus went out doing good. It didn't stop in the book of Acts. When the book of Acts was almost closing out, Paul was thrust upon an aisle of Melita. There, there was a man there with, it says a bloody flux, but it was something like dysentery, I guess, in our day and time. God sent him there to heal that man. And when they, he was healed and all the others came, many times there were crowds and multitudes come to Jesus. And he said he healed them all. The only place that he did not heal them all was where people did not believe in him and their faith was down to zero. And they looked at him as just no more than an ordinary man, a little carpenter boy. And he said in his own hometown he could do that. No many mighty works because of their unbelief. Many times he marvels because of their unbelief. People, if he marvel at the unbelief of Peter trying to walk on the water and the disciples being afraid when the storm came, his mouth must be down to here looking at the church today. I used to think he should have praised Peter. See, God expect somebody that will do it all for you and hand you the king. He expects more out of us than unbelief. That's right. He expects us to stand up and take over what he's given us, our little bit of ground. That's these bodies. And I know, I'm telling you, we fight things every day. Many of the afflictions of the righteous. That was not going to quit. But we are more than conquerors. That means we surpass the victory. We don't just conquer a little bit, but we go beyond what the ordinary person would do. We can go beyond conquering, and we can be more than conquerors. We can conquer this body, this temple of the Holy Ghost. If He lives within us, what business as a virus or a germ or some other ungodly thing sent from hell do it in our body? I'm not saying we're perfect. I'm saying we're striving. But if we don't preach it, it will never be done. If you don't preach salvation, people won't get saved. If you don't preach healing, people don't get healed. If you don't preach deliverance, people don't get delivered. You have to preach what God says. And I know, I said, God, I faced some awful things, some sicknesses that God has delivered me from. I, I, I faced these things. And, and God helped me to overcome. But day by day, I still face more. I face times that right knocking at my door saying you, you, you can't do this you can't stand up against me I'm going to come in but I'll tell you what I begin to see God come on in the Holy Ghost is there and I want to tell you something when we stand up in the face of the enemy and we stand against him I'm going to tell you he'll flee from you Amen. the Bible said resist him and he'll flee from you but we're not resisting I want to read just a couple more scriptures. <coughs> I have a lot to read, but I'm in no way going to get them all done. I'm just going to tell you about this in Matthew 12.